What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, back again with another Pokemon Go News Update video. Today is May 23rd, 2018, and this Pokemon Go News Update video is going to be kind of all over the place because I already recorded my thoughts on Pokemon Go Community Day, where I was gone for two weeks, my experience of playing Pokemon Go in New York versus playing in Switzerland, and my thoughts of Aloha and Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go. So, I do have all that information in this video, but I just wanted to redo this intro because we we do get more news dropping literally as I was uploading so I you know stop uploading and then I added this intro to the front end of the video so you guys can get the, all the information at once and of course I'm talking about the Pokemon Go Community Day news so we got the Pokemon that we're gonna have for June and that Pokemon is gonna be Lavatar. Lavatar is a good Pokemon to have for Pokemon Go Community Day because Lavatar is kind of in the same boat I would say as Dratini where it's almost a rare spawn in the base games is usually a specific place where you could catch Lavatar and their evolutionary stage just like Dragonair and Dragonite Tarantitar in this case is OP in, in Pokemon Go it's a good Pokemon to have especially if you're trying to take over gyms and using in battles and stuff like that so it's a pretty good Pokemon to roll with I personally do not have <laughs> Tarantitar so this will be my first time catching one in Pokemon Go so I'm excited because again there's gonna be so much Lavatars to catch that we're gonna have enough to evolve it all the way through to get Tarantitar so I'm pretty cool with that we also get three times catch experience for even catching any Pokemon so that is gonna be good to have during that three hour window so let me know your thoughts on Lavatar being the Pokemon Go community day for june and enjoy the rest of the video what is up guys i'm daddy gamer fred back again with another pokemon go news update video today is may 21st 2018 and a little bit of housekeeping i've been away for about two weeks a little bit longer and i haven't done a pokemon go news update video for a while for those two weeks and that is because i was on vacation i took a trip to new york to go see family to go hang out with my family and stuff like that and while i was there yeah I played a ton of motherfucking Pokemon Go and oh my god you can you can see now there are literally Poke stops to spin on every corner so I played as much as I can literally everyone was getting annoyed at dinner or whatever the case may be at the hotel kept Pokemon Go running on my phone kept spinning Poke stops while I was out there because yeah I wanted to, to stock up on items and and just the, getting the experience of playing Pokemon Go in New York again there's nothing really like it especially being out here in Switzerland now I'm gonna roll you some footage of me when I came back to Switzerland and it literally is night and day. It's just like playing in a royal area it really sucks compared to playing in a city. I just want to touch on that. I'm, I'm going to do a video deep diving into that and stuff that Niantic can do to kind of remedy that and kind of help out royal players and stuff like that. But that is a topic for another video. I also wanted to jump into my thoughts of last weekend's Pokemon Go Community Day, which was a blast. It was Charmander. It got my favorite shiny Pokemon added to Pokemon Go, Charizard, which I actually happened to get. I only got one shiny Charmander throughout the whole duration of Pokemon Go Community Day, but nonetheless, that still was amazing. I still had fun during Pokemon Go Community Day. They've seen a lot of kids out here in Switzerland playing, didn't know a lick of what they were saying. They probably was mad at me for taking over the gyms. They're like, why is this old man playing Pokemon Go? Whatever the case may be. <laughs> I have fun nonetheless, but thank you guys guys for bearing with me for the lack of videos for the last two weeks just want to let you know that I am going to keep the ball rolling I am going to continue to roll out these Pokemon Go news update videos on the channel like always let's jump back into the news so today Niantic put out this blog post this is from PokemonGoLive.com I'm have a link to this news article in the description below and as you can see guys a low in forms of Pokemon originally discovered and the Kanto region are coming to Pokemon Go. It says, Trainers, sunny days are ahead. Whether your forecast calls for rain or shine, we're celebrating all around the world by introducing some special Pokemon from the tropical Alolan region to Pokemon Go. Get ready for some of the Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region to appear in their Alolan forms. These unique variants were first seen in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon video 
games and they will make their way into Pokemon Go in the coming weeks. Keep an eye out for news related to this exciting change and don't forget to tell your friends, stay safe and happy exploring. Now, news of this coming out has split the community in half. There's people that love that the loan forms are coming to the game and there's people that hate the fact that the loan forms are coming to the game. Where I sit on it, I love the idea that the loan forms are coming to the game. The timing of it kind of seems like, uh, why? And I'm gonna jump into that in a second. But everyone that is mad, that they're thinking, why is a low inform skipping Gen 4 when Gen 4 was secondly first on the timeline? A low inform should roll in around the same time as Generation 7. But let's jump into, I think, again, these are my thoughts, the reason why we're getting the low informs. Again, it says sunny days are ahead. We are rolling into summer, depending on which part of the world you are watching this from. But we're rolling into the summer months. And it says, whether your forecast calls for rain or shine, we're celebrating all around the world by introducing some special Pokemon from the tropical Alolan region. Tropical Alolan region. Summertime. What do you think about tropical? You think about sun. That's why they're rolling these Pokemon out. I don't think it has anything to do with Generation 7 or the games or whatnot. Because if you think about it right now, those Generation 7 games are kind of lost in the mind chain. Nobody's thinking about the 3DS and the Pokemon Sun and Moon games, the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon game. I think if anything, Niantic wants to push that boat along and wants to get those alone forms out because no one is talking about those Sun and Moon games anymore. Well, so they want to kind of like sneak it out there and put these Pokemon in the game. Not sneak it out there, but kind of put these Pokemon in the game already so they could have that ship sailed so they don't have to reintroduce it later on down the line. Or why are we getting these Kanto forms so late during you know, Generation 7, when they could just bring them out now, say it's part of a summer event, and that's it. I don't think this has anything to do with the timeline of us getting Generation 4. I still think that's going to be later on this year. I don't think this messes up with the duration and the time that we're going to see Generation 4. I still think they're working on it behind the scenes. We are going to get Generation 4, I think, when we're done with all the Generation 3 legendary Pokemon, and I think that might be pretty soon because we only have the Reggie Ice Trio, and I think that's it for Generation 3, and then we're going to be moving on into Generation 4. So again, like, oh, don't get mad. Don't get mad. We had three full legendaries they have to roll out, and I think they're going to do that before we touch Generation 4. So I say think of the low informs joining Pokemon Go as a bonus. Now, just to talk about rumors real quick, because there was a brand new update to the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee rumors that does have have a kind of connection to this, meaning that that the rumor that is going on now is that only the original 151 Pokemon will be appearing in those games, and those all those Pokemon, 151, the first generation Pokemon, are Kanto Pokemon. There are no alone forms of a Generation 2 and onward, so all the Pokemon they're talking about that are going to make an appearance that's going to have a regional variant from the lower region are going to be Generation 1 Pokemon. Now, mind you, that's not new Pokemon for your Pokédex, but there is a new form. These Pokemon do have new typings and stuff, kind of like Classiform if you are not experienced with the Pokemon Sun and Moon games. You know, Marowak changes to a fire type. Executor is now a dragon type Pokemon. Raichu <laughs> is a psychic that can surf? How cool is that? You know, we have a ton of regional variants. I'm going to have them up on screen so you guys can see them. I think it's pretty cool. If you don't know what low forms are and you're scared of this and think that it is pushing back Gen 4, I would say go to Pokemon Go Hub. Net. They have written an article about what exactly are alone forms, and they also have an article covering the alone forms coming to Pokemon Go. I'm going to have a link to both of these articles in the description below, just in case you need to check it. Also, for the hardcore fans out there, Cerebi has added the CP and stats values for all the alone forms that are coming to Pokemon Go. I'm going to leave a link to the listing in the description below as well in case you want to check it out. So again, I do think it's pretty cool. I don't understand why a lot of people are but hurt on the fact that this got announced in Gen 4. It still has been teased but not officially announced. Let me know how do you feel about it in the comment section below. And also let me know how did your Pokemon Go Community Day go? How many shinies did you get? Did you end up better than me? I only got one shiny, but I'm pretty happy with it. Also, 
Let me know your thoughts on city versus royal areas in Pokemon Go. Do you live in the city or do you live in an area that there's no Pokestops like me? Because I have to ride my bike very far, take the car and drive very far before I see a, you know, like how New York is, where it's just one every few, you know, major store, or whatever the case may be. Out here, again, where I live at, there is none. There's no sense of me popping in the game unless I really want to hunt for something in days during Pokemon. Pokemon Go Community Day, I'm literally forced to drive to go to a mall or something so just so I can play and that's kind of, uh, but I do love the game enough to do it. Let me know how do you get around stuff like that in the comment section below. Again, I am going to make a longer video on the topic. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter and like always guys, you can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon Go news update videos. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription, so, so please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing your channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon go news update video